Hi, welcome to another 41 Designs video. This one's gonna be a little different. Um, first of all, it's me, <laughs> uh, Dubraska. I'm sort of like the heart behind 41 Designs. And uh, in the past, I usually record videos that are flip through videos of my handmade journals and some tutorials and that kind of stuff. But this time, I wanted to do a little bit different in that I wanted to share with you some uh, studio news and kind of give you an update on everything I've been working on um, in the background. I know on social media, it's kind of hard when you don't see, um, you know, a creator putting out content all the time. You think they're just not doing anything. Uh, however, that's far from the truth. I've been very, very busy. So I wanted to share, I'm like super excited. So I made some notes so I wouldn't forget. So bear with me. Um, Okay, so also if you know me and have seen maybe some images of my uh, my other studio, you'll notice that this is different because I've moved. I uh, moved in with my fiance, so you're engaged. And, and so that's been a whirlwind of uh, just moving and trying to reorganize things uh, so that it kind of mimics the flow that I had before. So that has been something that's been keeping, keeping me very busy, uh, but I think I'm, I'm in a good place. I've made some projects and kind of played with some of the lighting and, and recording and all of that stuff. So hopefully we'll be able to do a little bit more of this moving forward now that I have it all kind of set up. So, um, so that's number one. <laughs> number two, um, I did finish, um, some journals and I listed them in my Etsy shop. I have an Etsy shop. Um, all the links and all the stuff that we're going to talk about today are going to be in my um, video description. So no, no worries. Everything will be down there. So I have some journals that I completed and I intend to do a flip through video for all of these. So that way you guys can get, you know, kind of like your what you're used to is to see the kind of the inside of my journals and all the fun goodies and stuff that's in them. So that is coming. So stay tuned for that. But yes, I did update my Etsy shop and listed those journals and then um, little projects like this. But if you want to just kind of get your, your toe wet with the whole junk journal thing, you could... Um, buy some of these like ready-made embellishment uh, or accents to your journals. Oh, I forgot these. I forget what I have. Okay, so let's see. So I have these that are more like pastel um, versus my traditional grungy vintage look. Um, I also had these. Don't fall, don't fall, you fell. Um, I also have these like embellished notebooks that are just, they're just lined. So but I thought they were kind of cool to just have something embellished, quick little gift. Uh, I also have, oh my gosh. Oh, I made this one. And this is out of like um, a recycled packaging. I forget what it was. I think it was those little, um, you know, those little, things that you flavor your water. They're like tea. I, I, I like the peach tea and stuff like that. So I think it was one of those little boxes. And so I just, I just made a little naked journal. Kind of had some old music sheets and some printer paper and scrapbooking paper. And so it's ready to go. And then I added all of the little just sort of, I don't know, it's hard to show you this way when the camera's going that way. But um, just little ephemera pieces and doilies and tags. So that way you can embellish your little journal and have some fun. So that way when it comes in the mail, it'll be ready to go. You don't have to worry and fuss with making the journal. You could just um, have fun and create it. I mean, embellish it, I should say. Okay, so that's that, and that's also in my Etsy shop. 
And then I had several of these. I love these little projects because they're just so fun and easy. You get like immediate reward. <laughs> so these are just the same little, you've seen these little composition notebooks, right? So I just love quick little projects like this. Sometimes you're kind of in a little bit of a creative funk and these are always very rewarding. I love this one with the pimples. Yes, I love that. These little ephemeral packs are the best. Okay, and then, so that's what's on my Etsy shop. Uh, the next thing is um, I switched my website from, uh, what did I have before? I don't even remember the name. But anyway, I switched it to Squarespace because I feel like the just the platform and everything um, is so much easier. And for example, I have ideas of um, having like an e-commerce site where I can sell some of my products directly instead of listing them on Etsy. And it, it, I think it's gonna just allow me to do a lot of the things that I wanna do. And it's so much easier to change and to update with uh, different posts and, and like studio news and stuff like that. So I really, really love um, Squarespace so far. And so I um, I switched my site to that. So now it's 481designs.org instead of .com. And again, that'll be in the description below. Okay, so then the other thing is I'm like super, super, super psyched because I finally launched my Patreon site. And... I, I can't even tell you how long I've wanted to do this and finally, finally said, okay, I'm just doing it. I've been working with like a super amazing um, career coach and she has really been just instrumental to getting so much work done because she puts me on some on a timeline and then we discuss and then we plan and then it's just all, it's easy, easier to execute. So I... I would love to share that with you guys because I love her so much. She's been amazing and I love working with her. Look forward to every single one of our meetings and I can't even tell you worth every single penny to get all of the, these creative ideas to, you know, materialize. So that has been amazing, uh, an amazing process for me and very, very rewarding. So because of that, I was able to then create some um, actionable goals and then I was able to create um, the Patreon site and I launched it. So now I have some tiers that you can kind of pick from and um, I'll be offering some more tutorials on that side of things instead of on YouTube, um, trying to make it more of an exclusive uh, benefit to the people that are actually supporting me and supporting my journey. So I love the idea of like all the possibilities and all the things that I'm going to be sharing with you over there. Um, maybe some live streams, some Q and A's, let me know what you want to see and I will, I will try to deliver. Um, so that's Patreon site. And again, down below, you'll find the info. Um, okay. So this has been an absolute dream come true for me. I have always, always wanted to, uh, publish some work again, the creative ideas are never ending. And so I um, I am so, so proud to share that I have, cre I have um, published some books on Amazon and I created a, these are all things that kind of align with my, my values and my, um, you know, the things that make me happy. And I know that a lot of you are vibing on the same, uh, on the same frequency. <laughs> so I really, really hope that you can get some benefit from these books and that you'll share them. And, um, anyway, so the, this is a gratitude journal and it's 52 weeks so that you have, um, a day, um, excuse me, a page for your gratitude list. And then on the other page, it's just a, a really pretty image, like watercolor flowers. And so I didn't want to put any dates or any restrictions because I wanted it to feel very kind of loosey goosey, kind of how I, <laughs> kind of how I vibe. I didn't want, um, you know, like if you didn't get to write on your uh, in your gratitude journal today that you were going to feel bad because now you have empty pages. 
no, we're just going to go with the flow and we're just going to sit down, have a cup of coffee, write down some things that you're uh, grateful for. And then um, you can look back. You can look back on them and see, you know, what a beautiful life you have. So that's this. Then I, again, going with the, the theme of like good vibes, I created a coloring book that gives you the opportunity to just sort of like unwind after the end of the day or during the day if you need a break and just color in and um, everything is, in, every page is kind of anchored on some positive thoughts and some uh, just good vibing um, ideas. So I added some that were really intricate and really beautiful so that you could really, if you have more time, obviously take it, um, take your time. But then also some days you just want to, let me see if I could find one here. And some days you don't have the bandwidth <laughs> to do something uh, very intricate. So then I just added some simple backgrounds that you could just kind of color in and then, you know, unwind that way. So now that got me thinking, how about if I could combine these two? So this is my baby. This is the one I'm most proud of. I love, 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 love this gratitude journal. So this one has been kind of the combination oh perfect page I love butterflies um so this is a combination of uh, a gratitude journal but then it also gives you a little space so that you can doodle and you can color in and make your 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 journey to gratitude pretty right because who doesn't like pretty so I added all these little pretty images so I love it this one's my favorite. So anyway, I thought it would be a great way for you to practice gratitude, obviously, but also to share, you know, and um, the holidays are coming. So if you wanted to um, kind of share in that goodbye feeling with someone that maybe needs it, that maybe needs to slow down a little bit and, and take care of themselves, that I thought would be a wonderful way to do that. So I also, I don't know about you, but I got a gazillion passwords. So while I was at it, I threw together this <laughs> so I could keep all of my passwords um, in one place. And then the idea is that you could just like put like a little tab. What I was doing to mine is, um, you know, like just getting a little piece of post-it or a little re removable tab. You can get them like they're self-adhesive. And then um, you could just kind of put it on the on the letters, right? If you're going to break it up by letters of the alphabet or if you want to do it by like different um, areas of your life, like this would be business and this could be like personal, maybe the kids' passwords. I don't know. I just thought, again, no restrictions, no, no major rules. This is just a, a fun way and a pretty way to keep your, your passwords. And then... <laughs> then I created um, a fun little meal planner. Um, I'm not much of a cook, but I do like meal planning my lunches because otherwise it gets crazy expensive uh, to have to like buy lunch all the time. So I do like to kind of plan out what I'm going to prepare and then Sunday nights kind of get it all ready. And then that way it's guilt free, good food. And this makes it a lot easier if I have a place to write everything. Uh, also helps with my shopping list. If I can order stuff and then just have it delivered or swim by and pick it up, it's just easy to take a little print screen of it. Now it's on my phone and I can, um, I can do that. So it has the days of the week. It's got a little space for shopping list um, and obviously the date. But yeah, so two years worth of space there. For meal planning and then you could also kind of look back and say oh you know so you, when you get in a rut you can kind of look back and go oh you know we haven't made that in a while and that was really yummy so kind of <laughs> keeps you from getting bored so then um this was such a neat surprise because the quality of um the amazon printing is really really i was really impressed with it um look at the detail on these i made these little composition books 
that are just they're just lined but uh they were so fun to design this and have it where it's it's like a tangible thing because i love working with digital design but this in your hand it's a different feeling right so um and again i had like kind of like the this is sort of like me um where you have uh the rustic or vintage um and then you have like the beautiful colorful butterflies this look at that isn't that just beautiful and it feels good too it's like I don't know. There's something about it I really, really like. I will be making a lot more of these. And then this one, again, with kind of like the brick background. Yeah, so these were super fun. And I've given them away. And I'm actually, I actually um, bought some that I'm going to um, give away. So... Uh, stay tuned because I'm usually on Instagram and so I will post something about them on Instagram and then start having giveaways because kind of like that's the point right to share so okay so that was my published books okay so um two quick little things um a lot of times you guys ask me on message you know like message me on Instagram what where did i get some of the supplies right that i used you know or some of the embellishments and stuff like that so rather than have to answer all the time the same kind of questions i thought well it's just so much easier if i just create a storefront on amazon because i buy like 90 percent of my stuff on amazon so i thought um let me just go ahead and create the storefront and then you guys get one link you can just go there i kind of kind of categorized everything um like adhesives and tools and you know embellishments and that kind of deal so try to make it a little easier but just poke around and see if you find anything that you like most of the stuff like i said i get there um so it's it's there for you guys okay the next thing is i created a buy uh buy me a coffee account and that is just you know because i love coffee <laughs> And especially free coffee so if you guys feel like supporting me and my channel by keeping me caffeinated you can go to buy me a coffee and um donate and i was i, I was actually looking at some other um creators and they were offering things so i'm going to upload some digital uh products and stuff like that that i can give you guys you know just for being you and, and helping me out. And so that's there. <laughs> I feel kind of silly asking for that, but yeah, coffee, hell yeah. <laughs> okay, um, focus, let's see. Okay, then um, the other fun thing that I did, again, I love digital design and I'm always dabbling and playing with, with um, images and stuff like that online. And so I created a Redbubble uh, shop. If you've never heard of Redbubble, it's a place where you can upload your designs and they will print them um, on just about anything. I mean, from coffee mugs, blankets, pillows, hoodies, hats, whatever, you name it, and they could probably put your image on it. So it's been so fun. I uploaded a few. Um, I'm planning on a nice new set of designs um, gearing up for the holidays. So that's coming, but you can at least go and check out and see what I have um, and and know that it will be growing and it will be changing soon. But all the updates and stuff, I'll keep you guys in the loop with uh, with Instagram because I'm always, you know, usually on Instagram. So. So let me see. Oh, and then the final one. And this one is like, I'm so psyched. Um. I am going to start offering art workshops um, locally. So I live in Colorado, um, the Centennial area now, my new home. So I'm going to start offering art workshops uh, at a local rec center. So I created a meetup account for that so that unfortunately it's only local people. <laughs> so if you're in Denver and you want to come out to Centennial and see me and um, work with me on some of these mixed media projects, um, some journal making and that kind of stuff. Cannot tell you how excited I am. I've always 
always wanted to be a teacher, right? That was kind of like my dream since I was a little kid and just didn't work out that way. But having art and having teaching kind of be besties, oh my gosh, I'm so psyched. So I have so many ideas. I've already started working on some of them. I'll show you these fun little tags that I was making. I was trying to record a video, like a video on kind of the process, but these are just shipping tags. And I love making these because they're just so fun. Quick little projects that are so rewarding. And so this is one of the things that I'm gonna be working on for the um, art workshops. But, you know, knowing me and knowing my passion for junk journals and journal making, of course that's gonna be included for sure so so that's that and i think that was it yep looks like that was it so anyway thank you guys so much um i know that you know everybody's worried about algorithms and posting and how often and i'm doing the best that i can um i'm always creating i'm always doing stuff in the background and I'm my goal and my um, plan is to start including more videos of us doing stuff together and more um, tutorials and like I said all of these little projects that I've been working on on the side are all gonna come back to the same thing and that's sharing my love for being creative with you so thank you um, I guess I'll see you soon bye